All right, so in this video, what we're gonna talk about is going to be using a, an ability to pull up an HTML file from your HMI system, so our Factory Talk Site Edition system. Uh, again, this is mainly specific to Site Edition. Again, so that's what we're gonna be going over through this actual video. Um, but it's gonna give you the alternative to, instead of using VBA code, what you can do is you can come over here and I'm gonna add a new screen so you can see right here. It's just adding a new screen, right? And at this point, now normally you would, you know, and they have a, a like a like a, a web page or something like an ActiveX web page, let's just say like this, right? So you'd have an ActiveX and then you'd come over here and you put it in, and then you would select the ActiveX, like let's just say Microsoft web browser or something like that. So we'll have Microsoft Web Control. Let's just say, for instance, you have, then, you can, then you can name this. And what you would do at that point, you would come in and do the VBA code behind that. And you would pull up your HTML file. But let's just say that didn't work, right? Now you can also do your, your uh, URL right here. And again, though, what if it didn't work, right? So what if somehow your normal procedure of using this, the Microsoft um, or the ME Web Browser right here, wasn't working, right? So again, like, so we're taking the example of using the ActiveX right here and going going ahead and looking at the Microsoft web browser. Oh, that's ME web browser that I grabbed. I'm sorry, let's, let's look at the Microsoft web browser. So you have a Microsoft web browser, which is generally used quite a bit in the industry. And then you can see that this right here is going to have that web browser right here. Now that web browser, as far as connections and stuff like that, you don't see any kind of, uh, you know, URL or anything like that. Right? So you would use that through VBA code and you would come over here and, and do that through there, but you would have to obviously edit the VBA code or you, you would have to edit the object to use active VBA code. We're going to show you a different way right quick, right? So we're going to come over here and I've already placed, let's just close the VBA code because I'm not going to use it. I've already placed a video uh, that I made, uh, one of my YouTube videos. I just placed it on the inside the C drive of this desktop under videos 2014 or 2024, 2014, 2024. So uh, keep in mind, that's the URL I'm going to be using. Okay. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go to advanced and we're going to go to web browser. We're going to come over here, paste the web browser in here, and we're going to pull this down, go to connections, and then you're going to find your path that you have or that you put the file in. In this case, I want to pull up this MP4 file. So this could be an MP4, it could be an, a .html, it could be like a, like a video for a video feed from a camera system or something like that. Uh, again, that's generally done in HTML, but this case is going to be an MP4 as an example. So I'm going to grab that path right quick. I'm going to paste that in here and then I'm going to come back to my object and get it the object's name. Okay. So then I'm going to put a slash and then the object's name, and then it's an MP4 file that I'm trying to pull up. So it's important I put in the .mp4, okay? So I'm gonna come over to the very end and put .mp4. And then it's very important to put the quotation marks in here because if you do not put the quotation marks, it will not work properly. But if you add the quotation marks and you apply right here, it's as simple as clicking the test button and then the, it should work, right? So this should pull up the actual video, start the video playing, you would see right here, everything started. It started playing. Again, this is an example of me using one of the YouTube videos that I have made in the past. Uh, I just took the actual MP4 file that I had, you know, uploaded to YouTube and I put it on this actual desktop and I decided, you no, know, because a lot of times that's what we do. We take the HTML file and we put it in like C drive or D drive or something like that. But in this case, this is an alternative way to pull up a web page that is a lot easier and a lot more efficient. Now I will say if you do not have this feature, okay, so let me stop testing this. If for some reason you do not have this SE web browser control, if you do not have that this, this feature, then it's probably because you don't have the right version. Again, 
that some of these features just got implemented in certain versions and, and, and you know the older versions don't have stuff like that right so this web browser right here it's advanced and then go to web browser and that's how you get the SE web browser control so with that you know it's that's that simple to actually get a, a live video whether it be a camera system whether it be a URL that you want to pull up or whether it be a just a standard HTML file that you have that you're looking to actually tie into your HMI system again this is using factory talk site edition uh, so there is the ability to use uh, ME a certain different way but in this specific video we're talking about factory talk site edition so hopefully that did help and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.